Let's use a laser script and make it bounce off walls. The first thing I did is moving the obstacles to the obstacle layer and the ground roads to the ground layer. Next step is to take the prefab of a gun and drag and drop it to the hierarchy. Now let's make it a little bit bigger and zoom in. Now let's create an empty game object inside of the gun. It will be a child of the gun. And place it on the front of the gun to act as a shooting point. This point will be used as the start point for our laser. Now let's drag and drop the laser script, which I did in the previous tutorial, onto the new shooting point. Let's do some changes on the line renderer. So let's make the thickness smaller and also change later the material. I will untick this use world position so that the laser starts from our shooting point, the local point, and do the setup so that I can see visually how my laser would look like. Let's set the blue material. Let's make it slightly bigger, like this. Yeah, I like it this way. So I will again activate the weld position because through the script we are setting the weld position of the laser start and end point. Now on the laser script, let's do the layer mask so that we only are collide with obstacles in the ground and make the length. So if you test it in the editor, we can see that our laser is starting correctly on our local position. And if we move, it's colliding with the obstacles, which is fine. But we have no reflection yet. So we will now change the script so that the laser reflects around the normal point. Let's open the script and let's move the chord part from the update method to a new so that we still have the old version and now let's duplicate this method so that we can now change this code to have a reflection. Let's add some new parameters. so. We would like to have a number of reflections, so how many bounce-offs we would like to have. And we need a new ray. So each time we our ray hits something, it will be from the new ray, the starting point, let's say, the origin. So this is the first starting point, and this is the shooting point. So our ray starts from our shooting point and points in the forward direction. And each time we collide something, we increase the number of uh, position counts on the line renderer. To be able to define the length of our laser, to limit it, we will uh, decrease the current length each time we collide with something.
Okay, now let's try it. You will see a bounce off, yeah. Each time we hit an obstacle, as you can see, it's bouncing off the normal of the obstacle and taking the angel. And yeah, you can also decrease or increase the length or define how many bounce offs we ha should have. So guys, I hope this helps you.